We are working in Irvine today and we are replacing old gas furnace with new high efficiency true variable speed dual fuel heat pump. This is our old indoor unit gas furnace only and we are replacing this gas furnace with new ultra low nox variable speed two stage gas furnace and adding AC unit which means we'll have to add evaporator coil on top, we'll seal the closet, seal the return cavity, we'll replace the flue pipe, it's already been removed because it was asbestos and we'll get all new supply plenum. Project is in progress. We have new return opening, furnace is in place, filter box, return is sealed. Our new unit is going into this corner. We already have electrical outlet from the panel, which is nice. We don't have to break stucco and we'll need to add a circuit breaker. Outdoor unit is in place, ran refrigerant line, new disconnect box. This is our new outdoor unit, heat pump condenser, manufactured by Allied Air. A Lennox International Company. So it's the same unit for four or five tons. We're running it right now in full capacity. Noise level is 69 decibels and when it gets to the temperature it will slow down and will be much quieter and more efficient. To get full advantage of this true variable stage unit you have to match it with iPad looking thermostat inside. If you match it with regular Nest thermostat you will only get two stage operation out of this unit. Make sure you run it with its own dedicated communicating thermostat if you want to get full advantage and full efficiency. Before we had it set to 60 degrees so it was running at full capacity right now we set it to 72 degrees and unit slowed down noise level is 53 decibels you can barely see fan moving for five ton unit that's the quietest unit i've seen and also again it has smallest footprint 30 by 32. so this is our new supply plenum it's lined insulated on the inside all new R8 ducting, each duct run R8 ducting, each duct run has a damper, this is a lever, so you can adjust airflow for every single duct run. And the way we are doing our ducting, we have a flow box facing up six inch, and we're not using six inch duct run and connect it to the flow box, we actually use eight inch duct run, and then we use reducer, inside here is reducer, eight to six and then we have six inch elbow which goes into the flow box so this duct will never collapse and it will have great airflow because of the metal elbow and the and an eight inch duct supplying old flow box this is our new thermostat true communicating <laughs> 